Hi, this is Matt Caton with The Brain Technologies, and I'd like to share with you today a few basic tips and tricks that will really ease your day-to-day -day use with personal brain. The first tip I'd like to share with you is a fundamental feature when using personal brain. It's called the resizing circle. The resizing circle is located directly on the active thought. You can see that it highlights in green when I mouse over it. I can click to drag down to make the fonts larger, or click and drag in to make the font smaller. You'll see that in large structures, it really comes in handy in case all of the thoughts aren't displaying properly on the screen at the same time. Another tip is simply moving the Plex up and down within the, the window itself. You can see that I can move databases towards the top of the screen or towards the bottom. Depending on the current size of the Plex and how many thoughts I have appearing, this could really help me visually to create a larger view of more thoughts in the Plex at one time. Another great tip is to simply go full screen with the Plex. If I'm not currently utilizing the tabs down below, but just doing a navigation, I can double click on the background and bring the Plex full screen. Now I'm free to do my navigation. When I find what I'm looking for and I'm ready to view the tool tabs down below, again, a double click brings them right back into view. So now let's take a look at the different viewing options we have for the Plex itself. Right now I'm in a setting called Normal View, and it's the default setting for Personal Brain. In other words, I'm viewing the active thought and one generation away from the active thought in any direction. But let's say we want a bigger picture, two generations away from the active thought. We call that distant thoughts. And there's a couple of different ways to get there. First, I could right click on the background, go down to view, and select distant thoughts. Now you can see I'm viewing two generations away from the active thought. Not only can I see that websites is a jump thought off of application, but I can see all the child thoughts immediately under websites. Let's go back to the normal view. Another way to get to the distant thoughts is to use the button located at the top of the screen. Switch between views. The next option we have for you is called Expanded View. Expanded View allows you to actually select which thoughts you want to expand and view on the screen and where you want them to appear. Let's right click again and go into our View Options and select Expanded. You'll notice that each individual thought has three buttons. A plus sign, a minus sign, and a small anchor at the bottom of the thought. The plus sign allows you to expand the thought. Clicking on it again expands it another generation away. Let's use that resizing circle. Now you can see I've created my own customized view. Let's take a look at some of the other options. I think I want databases to go away. I'll simply click on the minus sign. Websites needs to be a little over to the left. When the anchor tab on the bottom is solid, that means the thought won't move even if you move its connected thoughts. Unanchored thoughts will do their best to find their own location. Let's go back to the normal view again and bring back the tab windows. 
The tab windows can easily be moved around the screen. Again, another option to best suit your needs. Let's say we want to view not only our notes and the properties and attachments, but also the search results. I can click on the search tab and simply drag it to the side of any other tab or the Plex itself. Notice when I drag search to the side of the Plex, a highlight or shadow appears where this new window is going to reside. I release my mouse trigger and the search went tab has its own new home. Let's do the same with the calendar. I want it to appear directly below the Plex. Voila! All the windows can be easily adjusted. to best suit the shape and size that you'd like. Let's say we want to get everything back to normal again. I'm simply going to click on Options and select Reset Tools Layout. There we are, back to normal. One final feature that's incredibly useful is to be able to choose where you want the brain to appear on your desktop. Right now I'm in float mode, which means the brain can be minimized and maximized just like any other typical Windows application. One of my favorites is the ability to turn the brain onto Auto Hide. On the Window drop-down box, I like to select Auto Hide Right. Now, whenever I'm not using the, the brain, it scrolls to the right and can be easily accessed with its activation button. Even the activation button can be moved to a different location. And when I need the brain again, there it is. Finally, one more component that I think is a must for any personal brain, and that's simply the personalization of the color and the background. Under the Options tab, you'll see I have the option to select my own wallpaper, or I can choose from a series of default themes that best fit my mood. Even the colors of the links, tab, and thoughts can be easily changed. Again, in Options, open up your Preferences, and click on the Colors tab. Here, I'm going to change the resizing circle to a bright red. I won't lose track of that in the future. I hope you can use some of these tips and tricks that I've shared with you today to customize your own personal brain file and ease your day-to-day -day use. Enjoy using your own personal brain.